The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. We were talking about if an addiction to porn is real. Discussing this with us is clinical sexologist Dr. Robert Weiss. And joining us now is the founder of a community-based porn addiction recovery site, Alex Rhodes. Alex, thank you for being here. You heard us talking in the first segment about different viewpoints on is it an addiction? Is it, you know, how real is it? I want you to talk a little bit about porn and how you say it destroyed your life. Sure, so internet porn, I first got a hold of it around the age of 11 or 12. I'm in that first generation of kids who grew up having, you know, going through puberty and having access to high speed digital porn online. And that's totally different mm -hmm. from what our grandparents had with the Playboys and stuff. But digital porn, it's available anytime, anywhere, unlimited amounts. You could pirate it or get it for free. And, and it went from like an innocent curiosity about the, one, the, the female form to an out of control compulsion really quick. And so when I was 13 or 14 years old, I think around 14, I actually injured myself going at it so, so vigorously, I guess. So yeah, kind of embarrassing. Gr great thing to go on but TV sad, to talk about. Sad. Well, yeah, so it's, you imagine you're running in your house and there's carpet and you just skid on your knees on the ground. You could actually do that to your genitals too if you use porn too much. Mm -hmm. So I made a vow. I'm, I'm not going to do this for 24 to 48 hours to allow my injuries to heal. And it had nothing to do with religious shame. I didn't really grow up religious. It, I had no moral issues with pornography. I still wouldn't consider myself to be anti-porn. Mm -hmm. I simply realized at that time I couldn't even not do it for a day yeah. to allow my injuries to heal. I realized at that point it was out of control. Can I ask you, when did you get to a place where you were able to recover, so to speak? So my story really <laughs> was heavily rooted in porn. And, and for me, it was over 10 hours a day. I tried to quit dozens of times, hundreds of times. And really what happened was, is whenever I was old enough to enter into relationships and start trying to engage in sexual activity, mm -hmm. I realized that I essentially conditioned my brain to prefer mm -hmm. pixels over right. you know, people mm -hmm. and partners. So when I went to go and start engaging in sexual relationships, I realized I wasn't able to maintain arousal yeah. mm -hmm. because my brain was like, what is this, mm -hmm. a person? You're, you're essentially depersonalizing the person in front of you and imagining porn in your head to actually maintain arousal. Mm -hmm. So it really like not only impacted my grades and my life and like everything else, but it also impacted my relationships. And when I was 21, I created a website to help people recover. It's essentially just a forum where addicts, you know, whatever you want to call them, congregate together and encourage each other to abstain from porn and try to recover.